1985 was an astonishing year for Mike Tyson. In his first 10 months as a professional fighter, he had coasted through 15 fights, winning all by knockout. The boxing world was hooked. Fight number 16 was against Dave Jaco, a fighter with a respectable record. You know, I've said this before, but, well, here's another person who could stretch Mike Tyson, David Jaco, the white fighter in the dark blue trunks, mixed it with the best. Tony Tucker, Pierre Kutzer, he's knocked out Razor Ruddock. Can't fault this quality of opponent for Mike Tyson. This guy, 19 wins, 15 inside the distance. He can punch, he's durable, he's got height, he's got reach. What can Tyson do? He can attack him, that's what he can. He is no respecter of anything, Mike Tyson. He's young, he believes implicitly in himself, and Jaco will, I promise you, have never faced a human whirlwind like he's having to face in Albany tonight. And he's clipped with a right hand, lucky he was going back. Wasn't then, left hand. How many times have we seen that? How many times have I said, Tyson, left hook, down. Well, round one, this is Tyson's 16th fight of the previous 15, 11 inside a round, and this is going to be another one. And this is against a good opponent. No disrespect to David Jaco. That's it, that's all she wrote. No, the referee's letting him go on. I thought he'd stopped it. Tyson thought he'd won. But the end surely can't be far away. The right hook almost dislodges Jaco's head from his shoulders. They should stop this. He's really had enough. Well, they're letting it go on. Jaco shipping a lot of punishment now. There is no way he is going to win this contest. It's the 11th of January, and if they fought until next New Year, he wouldn't win this fight. It's not if, it's when Mike Tyson wins. And when could be any, literally any second. He's taken two counts. Three. It's all over. He should have, he could have stopped that before. Well, the three round, the three knockdown rule applies. All academic. Tyson wins fight number 16.